We're going to finish up putting the timing belt stuff together. So we just need to put some covers on it and get the motor mount in place. That's going to be a pain. But Yeah, this thing, it was difficult to take out. I did not film any of that, I don't think. Yeah, it's, it's funny because um, they don't really tell you anything about how to do that. A couple of different videos were like, oh yeah, just do this thing and it's going to be great. And remove it pops this right part, out. put this part back in, and it's like, yeah, sure, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> so some people I think didn't we even figure out it. how to get it in there. So it just requires a bit of uh, jacking the engine like way high and trying to push it, everything back up in there. Yeah. So it'll be a press, but I think we can get it in. I kind of remember how it went around the corner. Okay. Between there and there, and shoved in there. So yeah, it'll be fun. So I'm hoping it just goes actually smooth, but. Okay, no cussing. Huh? No cussing. <laughs> I don't think we do that normally anyway. Bring it. I'm just kidding. Dang it. <laughs> yeah. Dadgum. I'm going to bleep all of these out in the edit. Okay, so we're going up. Yeah. Now the fun part. Want me to do something? Do something? Like hold I mean, the flashlight. Get, get to doing something. Okay, I can't find the flashlight. <laughs> oh, here, you know what? This is the perfect flashlight. Okay. So I'm trying to remember exactly how this came out. Um, we had to pull that air conditioning tube pretty good to get it out. I almost feel like grab this and pull it forward. This? Yeah, the whole engine. Not too much, but yeah. Let's try going up a little bit more. Oh, okay. That was it. Oh, very nice. Very nice, very nice. What do you need from me now? Okay, I think we need a long bolt. Long bolt? You need the winch, the uh, 16 millimeter. Yep. So that was the hardest part of this. That's not bad. Thank you, Lord. So that just proves that we could have raised it a little bit higher when we were taking it out. Right. Okay, well, that's good to know for the possibility of next time. <laughs> you know what we could do next time? Hmm. Let's take the whole engine out. Yeah, and then you can see all the fun doohickeys and check the belt or the chain. Is that really easier than actually doing it in this? Yeah, because you can walk around it and look at all the different sides of it. Oh, and double check everything? Right. That's actually a valid point. Yeah, so last night Dad and I learned that there is a chain, a timing chain on this thing. Yeah, it's actually behind all the like that dual thing. overhead cams, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Want me to get you a light? That helps. <laughs> Designated job of the chat. Right. <laughs> Hold the light. Hand me a wrench. <laughs> I like doing that, though. Now that I'm older, I will say when I was really tiny, I was like, oh, I've been holding this light for five hours, and it's only been five minutes. <laughs> Five hours? That's what it felt like when you were like... You were holding a light for five hours? Kid, yeah. Five hours. Alright, so this next bolt is probably the hardest one. Does that one have to go down, or is it the upper one? It's this, it's this upper one that's upper right here that's down in this. Alright, I can hold a light and a camera at the same time. So, you're... You're bolting in the lower portion that's just below that little rounded bit back there right. on the mount. Right. Very gangster. <laughs> I don't know, it was like leaning down next to a car with your hood all up and your black hat. Yeah, I can't tell if it's going in there. Need me to try? Or try, not try. Try, try. Try, try. <laughs> you you want to try, try? Editing the video, I had so much fun. I've just put like random memes and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. It's 
totally my so sense of humor. So one of your memes like a picture of Chai Chai? Actually, yeah, because we had a whole conversation about Chai because I said try weird yesterday. And yeah. so it was like five photos of Chai just showing up throughout. Well, that's a little bit more than a hair. Well, what it did is it got it off of that. <clears throat> off of this, this was pressing into it. Oh, really? I see. Okay. And I turned it. So what does turning that back piece do for that wrench? Makes it go the different direction. Mm -hmm. I'm asking the dumb question for the people watching. <laughs> Which is me and the viewers. Yeah, it's like I just switched the direction of the bolt or the wrench to make it ratchet tighten versus loosen. You mean you don't want to take the bolt out of the thing? <laughs> no, ideally not. This wrench also has the little ring where sometimes when it's not in a really tight spot, mm -hmm. you can actually turn the ring, which turns the which turns the uh, bolt. Why would you need that? Well, so like, if, so right now I don't have a whole lot of thread on the bolt, mm -hmm. so you can just turn this. And oh, it goes quicker. Yeah, okay. And I, I see. can't get in there and make that turn. I see. I can see this through here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really funny because they make a hole that lines right straight up for that thing. There's a hole right here in the side of this that allows you to see right into it. It's almost like a super long extension would go right through there. And... Really? Wait, where? Yeah. Oh, that's. Interesting. Yeah, so That's that. suspicious. Try. <laughs> You're trying something? Try something? He's running to Nate's Home Depot over there. You can't even see that hole from this side. I know. That's why I was like, I just looked through the fender. Wow, fender. that's a really. You kind of naturally just want to look through the fender because you're like, I can't see what I'm looking at. That's. So you kind some of just guy wanna... was like, just put a hole right there. Some German. Yeah, some genius. Where did it go? Like, Where did it go? There it is. Oh my gosh, it worked? <gasps> Are you kidding? Look at that. Genius German ingenuity. <laughs> Innovation is the word. <laughs> is it going in? I don't know. Okay, is it? so here's what I think we need on that. Mm. Need me to hold it? No. Another thing that I have that might make that line up a little bit more. Another thing? What is this thing called? A swivel. A swivel. Oh. Oh, like a, a joint you put on the wrench? Yeah. Cool. Let there be light, Aziz. I'm going to try this. this. This one has a little bit of wobble on it. Is that working? I think so. Wow. Appears to have worked. That's awesome. Who knew? Who would have thunk it? I wonder if we actually finished watching like one of those guys' videos, they would actually know that. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that one out for just a little bit. It was just loose until we get the lower one in. Okay, that's awesome. So now we need to raise it up or lower it down. I think I might be able to actually get it. Okay, you want the light down there so it's not blinding you and you can actually yeah, see. Actually, let's just go ahead and tighten it up. Oh, okay. The wrench at the certain speck of newton meters and mm -hmm. foot pounds, and it's like, yeah. Felt tight to me. <laughs> I feel like that's all that's important, right? And plus, you gotta show them your hands. Okay, look at the, hand, the muscles on this guy's hand. Look at that, right there. And then my little tiny dinky hands. That is muscle. I'm pretty sure when he says it feels tight to him, it's tight. Yeah, then the problem is over tight. Yeah, I can't get it off. I yeah. can guarantee that. <laughs> it feels about as tight as it was when I took it off. That's what I would say. <laughs> if I'm guessing, which I'll do a lot. <laughs> if you're smart is also a term you say a lot. Okay, so we're going to bring this down. Okay. So see that bottom hole. You, you want me to look for that? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can already see it. I'm pretty sure. No? Oh, now I see it. Yep. 
I was mistaken for a different hole. Ranch. Ranch. Ranchy. Ranch. <laughs> the ranch, 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 ranch. Can you reach that? Right there. I feel like the engine went down really fast this time. It did. <laughs> it's kind of out of control. That's partially why I like it when you do the down, because I get nervous about the out of control. So yeah, so that all went pretty smooth, actually, for all intents and purposes. Yeah, thanks, Lord. That was pretty smooth. So now we'll just raise it back up, put the thingy back on, like the actual mount head, right? Yeah. So we'll put the yeah the mount clamshell back in place. Bolt that onto the thingy. I think they want you to replace those bolts because these things stretch. Oh, yeah. You know, there's some stretch that happens, I'm sure. I always forget about bolt stretch. And especially, like, things like this, right? We get a lot of that. Right. So now that we have to put that this plastic cover back on over before we do the mounting part? Uh, yeah, we could. Or, I mean, does it but matter? You don't necessarily have to, but it definitely is easier to get in. Okay, so... Oh, you need light? I think this goes in... Very nice. Yay. Yeah. So I would just pump it up to get that thing. So there's a lot of race car guys that run with those things off. Yeah, because it looks cool, right? Yeah. And it's probably easier to maintain. Or, I mean, I don't know. You put it at more risk of getting your smuts in it. Yeah. I mean, if you're driving off-road, you probably keep it on there for sure. Driving That's normal true. Driving a daily driver like this kind of is. Normal, just street driving. Mm -hmm. You keep it on. Yeah. But like racetrack. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's like, like you could see it, you know, if something got all wonky or whatever. Mm hmm Yeah, I could see it get out of time, or right. which would be really... So there wasn't any other shorter bolts, were there? There's these two right here. Okay. Um, but there wasn't any shorter ones. Yeah. So no, I didn't see there. any other shorter ones. Okay. So then what we will do is put this guy back in here. In y'all. In y'all. I think these are the 13s. They can see how low the engine is compared to the actual place where it needs to be. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. We'll just raise it back up, right? Yep. Oh, that was not the socket. Oh. Um, I'm pretty sure that one was like a 18. Because I think we guessed it a few times. I think these ones were 18. And then I think that one was a 15 or 16. I feel like they were 16. Let's try it. Yeah? I think that's it, yeah. Awesome. I think that's it. <laughs> I think there it is. Oh, yeah, it's it going in. There you are. Thingies. There's a ton of thingies. All right, let's go ahead and uh, raise her up. Let's yeah, let's raise her up. All right, you tell me when to stop. Well, I guess I can see it though. So keep Apparently. on coming up. Put the arm on. Let's stand it back for a moment. Wow, so it went in. Or is it going in? <laughs> yeah. That's great. Damn bolts is going in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you end up with uh, bolt stretch, just not even from the tension necessarily of what you torque it to, mm -hmm. but from the uh, the driving of it. From yeah, just from the pressure that the engine has. Is it that one on that wrench down there? No, that was the twenty. Yeah, so this one we have this, and the whole engine basically rides on these two bolts. So. Yeah, no wonder it's tighten them up. We're gonna and basic, yeah, this just left off some pressure off the jack. I felt that. Did it? Yeah, I just felt it. Um, so, but those two bolts need to be replaced because as it drives and it bounces, because this is a, it helps prevent it from bouncing too much. It would pull on those bolts. Right. Okay. Jack comes out. Okay. So we can... Well. Pull the jack out. Do it. 
Look at that. Yay! We done did it. We did it. We did it. I Thanks. knew we would. Dora? <laughs> Dora? Soy Dora! He helped us do it. <laughs> he found the instructions in the map in your backpack. Yeah. Poyo de agua. <laughs> you gotta say it then. Is that a Poyo de agua? Poyo de agua. Paco? Paco. Or I think it's, I don't know, I keep getting confused between Paco or Paco. Like the tea. Ah. But I don't know. We can ask Grandma. Also. She can watch this bag and tell us. Yeah. I guess I should probably angle it up. So now what are we doing, Dad? Next part is putting the serpentine belt on. Serpentine? That sounds like a... And the tensioner. Like a... Not like a friction... Thing. Yeah. Oh, I guess you probably need light. Don't you? And this... <laughs> I have one job. So, we're going to pop off this little thing here. So what is that little thing? Just like a it's rubber a, baby bungee bumper? Yeah, it's just a cover for the bolt. Oh, okay. So what does an alternator do for a vehicle like this? It charges up the uh, battery. Oh, so like when it's driving, it charges that. Makes sense. So then the two long bolts that we were wondering about. Mm -hmm, that are really greasy over there. And here is the alternator bolts. Alternator bolts? Alternator. Alternator. You sound like goofy to me when you say that. Take it down just a hair. It doesn't really have a whole lot of anywhere to go, so. Yeah. Like, we literally have that much space. That's this guy. Put it in through the eyeball. I was just thinking that. <laughs> Go in through the eyeball slot. Even though, like, most car Maybe. movies don't use the headlight as the eyeball. Okay. Wow, that looked really tough. It was just rotating it around. Yeah, there's a clamp that I missed. I was thinking about that last night, and I was correct. Hmm. I missed a clamp on the, uh, on this hose for the <laughs> battery for the electric water pump. Wow, you were, were you dreaming about it or yeah. just thinking about it? Whoa, you're getting serious. <laughs> Why are you using the pry bar? To just get it in place? Yeah, the alternators are always like stupidly tight. So I'm just trying to get it to get into the place where I can line up the holes. Oh, <clears throat> wow. Like they're the last thought that people have, kind of. Well, it used to be on some old engines. Mm -hmm. It was the uh, piece that was what you tensioned belts with. Or those oh. old devices that you tensioned the belt with. Wow. That's interesting. Right. Why did that change? Because uh, they made those tensioners. I see. Yeah, see, it's like... A what? Dead blow hammer. What is a dead blow hammer? Well, it's a big orange hammer, but... Oh. Apparently I don't have one anymore. I know what you're talking about, too. It's like the one that has the sand in it. Like this one. Yeah. Like this one that we have. Because <laughs> it has sand in it, right? So it helps with, like... Force yeah. or whatever. So yes, yeah. in that specific piece there. Alternator belt, right? I guess I'm a little confused by that other belt we have to re replace. It's for the alternator, right? No. Well, yeah. I mean, it goes to the alternator, but it also goes to air conditioning, power steering pump. Oh. And all of that. Okay, so this one is not lining up down here. Oh no. That's the way you do it. More whacking? Gotta get on something that can allow it to rotate around that other bolt. Kind of too long. <laughs> you just a little bit mediumer. Is there a mediumer one? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Look at that. 
Medium or medium or a pile of tools that were making a mess. That's okay. We will clean it up when we're done. ADHD tendencies. Mm-hmm. Like one wire right here is like hanging. It's like, oh I gotta put that in. <laughs> I mean, it would be satisfying to put it in, right? <laughs> yeah, but I gotta go get the air blower to blow it out. <laughs> Corrosion X to make sure it's good and connected. Mm-hmm. Where they get tight, and then all of a sudden they're loose. And then all of a sudden they're tight, and then all of a sudden they're loose. Oh, interesting. Why would that be a thing? Usually dirt in the thread is usually what causes that. Oh, well, those were some pretty dirty thread. Yeah. So... Yay! I think the Corrosion X is on the trash can right there. Yes. That's so satisfying. Is it? To me, yeah, it is. Plugging it in. So this guy Yay. comes around here and goes around and goes in like this. Backing up in here. Oh my golly goodness. Okay. Ew. Gross. Grody. You got it on your hands. I don't want you to put your legs on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> that guy goes on there. This guy goes on here. Nut on this. That's nuts. That is nuts. That was like donuts or donuts. 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 My brain went D's now. <laughs> <laughs> so on these you just don't want to put a whole lot of torque tension on them because you could break it off Ooh, yeesh that wouldn't be good and then i'm just gonna because i am corrosion x fan feel free to sponsor us corrosion x right. we'll use you all the time like they would say in the midwest you want to put that back? Put that back. <laughs> well, let's put that back. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is the truth. <laughs> well, that's also a Midwest. Mm hmm. Well, knee put slap. That back. Mm hmm. Slapping your knees. It's a knee slapper. Mm hmm. That's the cue to go home if you're at someone's house. No, well. Welp. Yeah. <laughs> Or it's the key that someone is going to go home. This here one goes down here. Comes around here. Bring it down around there. Let her tighten. See, and those ones weren't even on. Weren't even on there when we started this project. Yeah, which is also like, massive. I wonder what there was. Uh, maybe some antifreeze spraying around. Kind of see the antifreeze corrosion right there. So I yeah. think it was. Oh, so you got here oh that's funny. Look. Wire connector going through there. <laughs> the radiator grab on here. Oh, nice. Cable. That's, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> yeah, I think the radiator goes back. Yay! Um, okay, I can help with that. I'll actually do the screw this time instead of watching you do it. Like last time. So, do you want to do the dipstick next, or what are you thinking? Oh, yeah. yeah we probably could have had that out with the air conditioner. Uh, radiator. Radiator out, but that's right. Okay, I'll grab the parts for that. Because I think we just set the tube in there, really. It doesn't really screw in or nothing. 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 Look at that. It's also nice because I did break the tip of the old... Yeah, so that'll be nice. We yeah. That out. So, I'll take the tube... Okay. The tube. And then we will check the oil. Oil. I bestow you with the ability to do cars. <laughs> right. Oh, do you need light? Here, I'll put I'll put my toy down and Oh, it's wrapped around your you're standing on the cable. <laughs> you were perfectly standing on both points of the cable. <laughs> Okay, so this just goes down here. Down there. Fits right on that there. Little thingy. That's it? You just push it in? Just like that. <clears throat> Until you hear that click, I guess. 
Yeah, I mean, that was it. Wow. Now... It's orange, so it's not quite as neat as the yellow one, but I think I think somebody else, when they had the car before, yeah. I think they pulled it out and painted it yellow. Yeah, but then uh, <laughs> it shattered, Yeah. which is probably because it was just dry. Well, no, it, it was covered in grease and oil and everything else. And... Which would dry it out, right? Yeah, it's just nasty, nastiness to it, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, do the honors, kind sir. Yeah, I got dirty hands, man. You want to? Oh, sure. Here, you do it. I probably have dirty hands, too, but... Less dirty than mine. Probably. Yay! Put and now I know. Down. Now I know. And Don't twist, or otherwise you you'll break it. you want to get really fun with it, let's go ahead and pull it. Pull the dipstick and let's see what oil is on in it. Oh, yeah. Is it, is it grody? So I think this top line is the full point, so the oil is good. And it's, see, it's not black, black. Just so a little dirty. Good, so. Do we have to do an oil change then? Yeah, because we don't know if anything fell down in there. Oh. Okay. I was hoping we could get out of that. <laughs> but awesome. Yay, that's done. Pretty cool. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put in this here tensioner, tensioner wheel. Tensioner wheel? This here tensioner wheel. And I think the thing that I was looking for goes on the top of this thing. The thing you're looking for? What thing? Yeah, so there was this little bracket deal that I was trying to figure out what was. Oh, yeah. What it connected here. to? I think it's because it goes on top of that mount. So I think this is the 11 millimeter. Ooh, no, I'm going to guess it's probably the 13. Yeah. Really? It is. Nice. See, he made a guess, and then he actually looked at it, and then yeah, it was, was like, right. Wait a minute. That looks like 13 still. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> See, and then this goes right in here. I don't know why that's satisfying to me. I guess probably it's because it's been dismantled for so long that putting it back together is really exciting. Yeah, I mean, we started disassembling this thing back in January is when I started messing with it. But this thing hasn't ran in I think two years because um, before we went to Florida I stopped driving it because it was a coolant issue Right. and it sat on the driveway and then we jumped it and brought it here and then we went to Florida. Right. So I think two years this thing has been sitting stagnant which is not great for that but it's nice we'll get it running now. Right race it around maybe we could drive it to Estes or something you could drive it up to Estes because I like I like it when you drive the car because it looks like you have tons of fun <laughs> yeah, it's fun to drive that's for sure mm -hmm. Maddie told me that when we get this done we should do a video where like we fill like a garage full of smoke put lasers and stuff and then we do like roll it out yeah. <laughs> and then she's like, you guys should be wearing sunglasses and like some hyped up stuff. <laughs> I don't know how much effort we want to put into that kind of video, but it would be really fun. Whoopsie. We could also do it in different ways. Instead of having to like use a fog machine, we could wait till it's dark out and like do a cool shot where it's really dark and then you have like a car pull around the corner or something. You could take the little house lights mom has around the house and like light it up all cool in a dark parking lot and it's jammed. I think that bolt is actually just a hair smaller. A her? A hair smaller. I bet it was a 12. Why would that be? That's so dumb, wouldn't it? That would be really dumb if it was, thir like, was it two 13s and a 12? Right? Wow. Let's try it. That just felt dumb. That felt really like it weird. it didn't work. That is true. Really? Yeah. 
So two 13s and a 12. That's really weird to me. Yeah. It's like they ran out of 13s midway. That was it. I mean, that did it. So. What the wow. hell? What So now we got to put the belt on, right? And pull that pin that's, that's down there holding the tensioner. Right? Yeah. It's interesting because look how tight that is. For, for like how close it is? Do we put this on backward? I don't think. I can't imagine we so. Did. Just look how tight it is up against this mount. Like, how are you going to get the belt in there? Oh. Do you want to watch a video? See if we did it wrong? Or do you want to just find out by trying to put the belt on? We can just find out. That's how we learn as webs. Just throw that anywhere. <laughs> well, we're going to have to clean up anyways. There's a bunch of trash everywhere. <laughs> I think it goes like this. Well, won't you un... So, like, wouldn't you take this oh, yeah. pin out and yeah, then yeah. it'd push forward? The tensioner pulley just pushes that, that way and yeah. tightens it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's that's correct. Easy, High five. Easy enough. Five dirty <laughs> hands, grody, gooey, grody gumdrops. It's okay, it's just dirt. I think he said it was a 15 millimeter wrench. 15? Yeah, probably. Would you say it's a 15 millimeter wrench? Man, me a wrench. Is a 15 millimeter wrench. Wrench. And that's exactly what it is. And you pull it down, pull the nail out or pin out or whatever you want to put in there. We here use the concrete nail. <laughs> yeah. And it worked. Mm-hmm. Wow, look at all that. That's in the tension? That there's tension. I think that's done then, right? For the tension. Tensioner, yeah. Tensioner pulley is done, man.